Welcome to This Inglese Vero Podcast. In questo episodio ci sarà il proseguimento della conversazione che abbiamo iniziato con William Marino dagli Stati Uniti nell'episodio precedente. Il livello è più avanzato e sarà una conversazione totalmente naturale. Buon ascolto. And this is level B, which is for intermediate. So now we don't have to slow down or explain, we can speak freely. Huh? Ok. Ok, well, good. Goodwill. Uh, le- level B is a very important level. I like level B because I recommend um, Murphy's Intermediate Grammar. Yeah, oh, this one. And that's my favorite book for this teaching one. English as a second language. Exactly. English grammar and use. It's the best book in the world. It's the best. It's the for best. For teaching Remember. English. It is the best. It's the best. I always recommend this too. Yeah. For my, you know, I started studying English here. So I think there is a internet instability just one second are you there yes yes you're there okay cool so so you were talking you were talking about spiritually and that's an interesting subject for our intermediate advanced students so because i promise them then sometimes i talk about things uh that i would talk about with you even if we didn't speak english you know it's just the subject that's interesting it's not the english it's the subject you know And uh, well, can you tell me about your spirituality? Oh my god, I you know, when I met you, I don't remember where I was <laughs> because I wasn't very present to myself. Um, but since then, I've oh my god, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, spiritual trips. I've been doing a lot of uh, meditation and research, a lot of, a lot of research outside and eventually inside. I've been to all around the world and uh, met masters, saints, enlightened people, fake enlightened people, you know, and uh, oh my God, so much has passed that I feel like the one who met you back then is not there anymore you know i'm not that i'm i'm another person and uh, after going all around the world i understood and i not understood i realized that i made peace with spirituality here in italy you know jesus the bible which which for me before it was like oh no you know the, the this this you know this um How would you say it um, when it's something begot? Can you say begot in English? No, you don't say that. Okay. Begot by whom? Begot by the church? Yeah, no, because the church... No, 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 because the, the, way, the way religion was lived here, it was a little like, you know, uh, superstitious, and not real spiritual. You know, I didn't feel anything. After all this research, I came back here and uh, I met a few priests, a few churches all around my house and I met enlightened priests. And I say, oh my God, what, what is this? <laughs> you know, it's like, what's happening? So it is true. And uh, I found out that if you look for something, you will find it wherever you are, you know? And uh, if you look for God, you find God any, anywhere you are, you know? And uh, It was amazing. Before, before COVID-19 closure, I met all priests that you went to church and you had an experience. You had an, a, a, like a spiritual experience in that hour. It was like, oh, wow. You know, this is, this is what uh, my experience in uh, four seconds was. And it's amazing because I studied with Buddhists and, uh, and actually Buddhists are my best friends yet still because it's uh, i like the way they think you know very practical but still you know buddhists speak about jesus <laughs> so it's amazing yes i agree what, what what about you do you have anything to say about this or 
something oh, pops sure. up. Oh, sure. That's been that's been my life. I originally worked for the Catholic Church here in the United States, and that's why I went to Rome to study theology in Rome. And I studied at the master's level for two years. And that changed my career. The more I learned uh, about theology, the more I applied it to my religiosity. And I began to relate to God in a different way. Um, before that, when I was, uh, I always believed in God when I was a young man, but then puberty came and I had to choose between Jesus and young women. And so goodbye, Jesus. Hello, young women. And that put me in such trouble. I came back to Jesus. But as I got older, I came to realize that uh, no, no man is God. No woman is God. God is God and Jesus is Jesus. And that was a big uh, turning point in my career because I couldn't work for the church anymore because the church kept teaching people that Jesus was God. And I didn't believe that anymore. And I don't believe that anymore. And that's when I became a teacher of English as a second language. Wow. You know, this thing about Jesus and God, this is, you know, if you go to church here in Italy, they're still making all these mess up and you listen you just can follow you know it's like is it jesus or is it god you know they speak about it like uh they exchange it and actually yeah if you read the bible i uh, you bad can... connection oh sorry am i back yes yeah um so i i i, I totally <laughs> I totally feel you about this because, you know, when I was young, I was listening, I would listen to, to the priest speak. And I, I would say, is he talking about Jesus? Is he talking about God? Did they interchange this term, like, you know, freely? And it's actually like a big, big, big mistake, I believe. And I found out as well, like, I realized that, okay, Jesus is something and of course he understood god and i think but god is something else you know it's just two different things <laughs> you can, even jesus said god is my father you know and uh, yeah there is a lot of miscommunication about this and here in italy they still talk about it about them and uh, you, you just can't follow it's like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> and, then, and then of yeah. course intelligent exactly. people intelligent people well, that, think that's be that's because in the great in the great yes and now you go ahead oh because in the greek roman tradition man was god so hercules achilles pharaoh uh, julius caesar god man god man because the universe was very small and so when the gospel arrived to the romans they simply transferred and integrated their religion and they made jesus god man because that was the greco-roman tradition but then muhammad came and said, no, Jesus is a prophet, but no man is God, as Moses and Abraham had taught before. No man is God, not even the Messiah. He speaks to God. He understands God, whatever is, is, is part of it. But yeah, it's another story. <laughs> yeah, he's a teacher. Teacher. Jesus is a teacher. Jesus is a prophet. Jesus is a, a healer. So many wonderful things. But Jesus yeah. is not God. But Jesus yeah. is in heaven. Now, on another level, there is heaven where there's Jesus, where Mary, St. Anthony, St. Francis. There, there is a heaven where these spiritual beings exist, and they do help us. 
but Jesus is not God. Maybe, maybe for us, it could be our little God because we can see beyond that, but that, that's fine for me. It could be my God, you know, my personal, you know, my personal master, you know, you say, but that's, yes. uh, I, I like that. I li I li and this, this, you know, this intuition or realization made all the change. Really. <laughs> so simple, isn't it? Me too. Because, <laughs> me too. Because I worked for the church. I had a 10-year career with the church. 10 years working for the church. And then I realized I cannot teach mythology to the children. Okay, the old people, they believe this way. Fine, that's the way they relate to God. That's it. But to teach the children things that were not true, I could not do that. That's, for me, against my morality. Yeah, yeah, me too. Tell the truth. Because, you know, Tell I, the truth. I also think that most of my spiritual problems when I was younger were this, not, not this, but in general, like confusion, you know, not clarity about, not, not, not only about religion, because it's about life, you know, in that back then, all the parents weren't very clear about reality, about truth. It was all, everything was all confused and Jesus, God, God, Jesus, and say, what the hell are you talking about? Seriously, I was, <laughs> I had the, uh, I had a yeah. hard time, you know. <laughs> Santa Claus, Easter bunnies, set <laughs> shoes that cry. Yeah, it's not, I mean, yeah. Then after this, you say, okay, so it's all one thing. It's all, a, it's all a fairy tale, and it's not actually. Even fairy tales are true. So, but that's another story. <laughs> right, right. Fairy tales and superheroes. That's right. But Right. But still, at 71 years old, when I have to choose between Jesus and a beautiful woman, I'll take the beautiful woman <laughs> here on Earth. So that's like the love boat. <laughs> I, think, I think that doesn't exclude. Yeah, I, I don't think you have to make a choice. You can take both. Uh, yeah, you can have both. Definitely. Yeah. As, if, if, as long as you don't hurt anyone. Def yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh my God, this has been a very great conversation, Bill. It's wow. This is what I liked, you know, talking about deep stuff, you know, interesting stuff in English. So our students, my students, your students can listen to this and can listen an Italian speaking in English. And sometimes I interview also Italian. Uh, we speak Italian, Italian, we speak in English, you know, it's really funny. And, um, so if you have a, if you have uh, some students who are willing to be interviewed, I can do it with them. And uh, I'm waiting for your friend. Uh, we are we are arranging a time, so you will uh, you will uh, okay you will have that episode too. Okay, I know my wife would enjoy being interviewed by you. I would love to do it. So so next time we we, we arrange with her. Or, or sh shall I shall I talk to her? directly you're not you're not the manager yes if you speak with her directly i i used to be the manager now i'm the student so you, <laughs> I, she's my agent now now okay, you okay. know stefano because we worked and we had the same phone number yeah so whoever called on the tell i need english lesson oh yeah my wife is very good i'll sign you up but if she answered the phone she made me do the work so it depended who answered the phone Beautiful, beautiful. So the so the phone where I text is it is it this is that that phone or that's your personal one? The same. That's hers. If oh, okay. you The same same contacts. I just say, I just type hello Daniela and that's that she will answer. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Grazie per aver ascoltato questo episodio del podcast di Inglese Vero. A prescindere dal tuo livello. Ti consiglio comunque di riascoltare il podcast più volte. Se sei all'inizio, riascoltare ti servirà per poter capire meglio e farci l'orecchio. 
Ogni persona che intervisto ha un modo di parlare inglese diverso e serve tempo per farci l'abitudine. Se il tuo livello è un po' più alto, riascolta per cogliere parole ed espressioni che non hai colto la prima volta. E se proprio vuoi trarre il massimo dal podcast, riascolta anche successivamente cercando eventuali errori miei e del mio ospite. Indipendentemente dal fatto che tu li possa trovare o meno, indipendentemente dal fatto che esistano, questo di per sé è un esercizio potentissimo. In alcuni episodi trovi anche la trascrizione completa, che ti aiuterà a capire e verificare l'ascolto. Dove questo sia disponibile troverai il link nella descrizione. Aiutami a diffondere il podcast lasciandomi un commento, soprattutto se il podcast ti è piaciuto, e condividendolo con i tuoi amici. Più saranno gli ascolti, i download e i commenti, più potrò proseguire con altri episodi sempre più utili e interessanti. Tu sei la mia motivazione. Se non mi conosci, ti invito nel mio sito www.ingleseVero.it dove trovi contenuti e curiosità su come imparare, mantenere e praticare inglese in modo concreto. In modo vero, come lo chiamo io. E poi potrai anche contattarmi se ne avrai bisogno.